as I have seen throughout my long career as a dealmaker, complex problems require nuanced, fact-based remedies. That is why our proposal provides precise technical solutions to make Israelis, Palestinians, and the region safer and much more prosperous. My vision presents a win-win opportunity for both sides, a realistic two-state solution that resolves the risk of Palestinian statehood to Israel's security. Today, Israel has taken a giant step toward peace. Yesterday, Prime Minister Netanyahu informed me that he is willing to endorse the vision as the basis for direct negotiations. And I will say the general also endorsed, and very strongly, with the Palestinians, a historic breakthrough. And likewise, we have really uh, a situation having to do with a race that is taking place right now. It will end, and we have the support, and it's very important to say this, of both parties and almost all people in Israel. They want peace, and they want peace badly. We will form a joint committee with Israel to convert the conceptual map into a more detailed and calibrated rendering so that recognition can be immediately achieved. We will also work to create a contiguous territory within the future Palestinian state for when the conditions for statehood are met, including the firm rejection of terrorism. Under this vision, Jerusalem will remain Israel's undivided — very important — undivided capital. And crucially, the proposed transition to a two-state solution will present no incremental security risk to the State of Israel whatsoever. We will not allow a return to the days of bloodshed, bus bombings, nightclub attacks, and relentless terror. Won't be allowed. Peace requires compromise, but we will never ask Israel to compromise its security. Can't do that. Therefore, it is only reasonable that I have to do a lot for the Palestinians, or it just wouldn't be fair. Now, don't clap for that, okay? But it's true. It wouldn't be fair. I want this deal to be a great deal for the Palestinians. It has to be. Today's agreement is a historic opportunity for the Palestinians to finally achieve an independent state of their very own. After 70 years of little progress, this could be the last opportunity they will ever have, and last for a lot of reasons. And the, the Palestinian people have grown distrustful after years of unfulfilled promises. So true. Yet I know they are ready to escape their tragic past and realize a great destiny. But we must break free of yesterday's failed approaches. This map will more than double the Palestinian territory and provide a Palestinian capital in eastern Jerusalem, where America will proudly open an embassy. No Palestinians or Israelis will be uprooted from their homes. Israel will work closely with a wonderful person, a wonderful man, the King of Jordan, to ensure that the status quo of the Temple Mount is preserved and strong measures are taken to ensure that all Muslims who wish to visit peacefully and pray at the al Aqwa Mosque will be able to do so. This is a major statement. This is of major import importance. And Thank you very much. Thank you.